on the sick one. Hello, everybody. I hope you guys had a good weekend and are having a good Monday today. I just want to um, talk to you guys a little bit today about my daily oil routine. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about what uh, products I use each day and kind of what I do. Um, do I do the same thing every day or do we kind of switch it up? So we're going to kind of go over that today. And most of um, the things here, if it's something that's not directly from Young Living um, and it's made with the oils or different things, those recipes you'll be able to find in um, the section in Facebook that has files and it should have all of those in there. Um, if you can't find something, then just comment, and I'll be glad to share the recipe with you. So um, we'll start, kind of, kind of run it through the whole day. So first thing in the morning, I use. Um, okay. Oh, you hand that to me. Okay. This is our homemade body wash, and this recipe is from um, the Homemade Mommy. I'm not sure if I have the link, but you can go to her blog, Homemade Mommy. Um, Dot net and find her body wash recipe. I do add um, some different oils to it. It just kind of depends. I do different stuff each month. Mm -hmm. I think this month I have geranium, orange, and lavender in there. And it has um, castile soap, um, raw honey, I want to say glycerin, maybe some vitamin E, a couple other things. But like I said, you can get her recipe. So this is what I use in the morning. Not as a body wash. It says body wash because my husband uses it as a body wash. But I use this to wash my face with in the shower in the morning. So that's the first thing I use. Second thing after that is this um, peppermint scrub. Love the Young Living peppermint scrub. And um, Mom. Yes. That's, we'll get it in a minute. That's our bread machine. <laughs> um, it is is great, and I probably use this every other day, maybe um, every couple days. It just kind of depends on um, how my face feels. But this stuff is awesome, love it. All right, next one. This next thing is the shampoo, um, and I actually did a video the other day. You can search in here um, to find out how to make the shampoo. It's really simple. Um, just cast off soap, water, and whatever essential oils you want. So that's the next thing we use. Yes. Is there any oils on that? Yes, there's oils in there. Okay. And this one? Yeah, both of those. Okay, so the next thing is our um, lavender body wash. And this is actually the lavender bath um, and shower gel from Young Living. And so what I do... For, so I what, know. So what I do um, to make this last longer is we just do same way I make like my hand soap, foaming hand soap, is I fill this up a third of the way with the gel and then fill it up with water. And so you have a um, foam, a body foam versus the gel and it lasts a lot longer. So just a little tip. Okay, next thing. Give me that one. This is our shaving foam and you can actually shave with that with this foam the lavender foam but i've didn't have that before so i had already made this up and this is just my shaving foam and this recipe um, should be in the file section under um i don't know if i said shaving cream or shaving foam but it's um again basic cast also water some other things glycerin vitamin e and whatever essential oils you like i like um, purification usually for that one Okay, next thing is brushing the teeth. I love Thieves Aroma Bright um, toothpaste. This is great stuff and use this every day. All right, next. Then, um, oh, you know what? I forgot one and I don't have it here with me, but I'll tell you what it is. My, um, what I use in the morning is the sandalwood um, moisturizing cream. I use that on my face in the morning. So um, I do that first around my eyes and just all over my face. I love the sandalwood moisturizer. And it depends on what kind of skin you have. You may, they have some other options, but that one is my favorite. And then um, I usually add a little bit of Manuka to that, just like one drop, and then put that sandalwood moisturizer in my hand and then rub that in my face. And then get this one. This one? It, this one right here. Why? Because. And then we, you're going to do these? Yes. <laughs> and then if I have any problem areas, um, I put a little bit of tea tree oil on those. And, and then these two? Yes, then these two. These two I use every day. Progestins Plus, love this. I put um, two drops on my forearm every day. There's your daddy. 
<laughs> Say hi, yeah. Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Um, and then uh, Dragon Time. Use this. Um, I use this on my ankles and then over top of my ovaries as well to keep me from being hateful. <laughs> I'm not hateful, right, honey? <laughs> um, all right, next one. That. Give me this one. Okay. Whoops. Next is the um, sesame seed oil. I use this as a um, body lotion moisturizer, and it's just plain sesame seed oil. And I like this one for that because it's not really greasy. Um, it absorbs quicker. And I add patchouli. Give me lemongrass. Lemongrass. And then no, I don't use that one. Hey, hold on. I just need these real quick. <laughs> Lavender and frankincense and the reason I use this combo this is supposed to be really good for um, Dry skin and so is lavender and frankincense and then I just love the smell of lemongrass So I add that in there just because I like the smell. So that is like my lotion Then the next thing we do get this one and this one Is take our ninja red with um, a drop of copaiba and do that Pretty much every morning. I always take Ninja Red. I don't always put Copa Eva. It kind of depends. Um, if we eat it in the packet. Well, yeah. If we put it in, if we drink it out of the packet, I don't add oils to it. But it also depends on what I what I feel like I'm, you know, want to use. I like Copa Eva. It's a wellness oil. Sometimes I add Thieves or um, Endoflex. I like Endoflex. Vitamin C. And then our chewables, Super C vitamins, because I don't swallow pills well, so I do the chewables. And my kids can take them too, so. Easier just to have one bottle. All right. Oh, okay. And then throughout the day, um, I use different oils for different things, like if I have a need of something. But typically, um, I've said this before, Joy is one of my favorite oils. Can you just hand that no. one to me? I know we're not going to do that. I'm going to do this one first. Um, okay. I say. Okay, well, tell them. Um, joy. It's Joy. And what does it do? Uh, makes you joyful. <laughs> joyful. Okay. And Who else is on there? That is Carla. Hi, Carla. She's from back home in West Virginia. So what I typically do with Joy is I put it on my wrist, um, usually on my neck, and then I put a couple drops on um, here. Mom. Just like a little felt pad. It goes in here for the, um, it's a diffuser, necklace diffuser. And then you can just kind of smell it. You want some? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get our Joy. We need to be joyful mm. every day. Okay, so, um, and like I said, throughout the day, just kind of random oils depending on what I feel like I need. And two, um, we usually use our scanner. It's called an Itobi scanner, and so that will tell us what oils we need. We usually do that once a month and then kind of go from there. So next thing at bedtime is I use avocado oil with just a couple drops of lavender in it, and I use that to remove um, my eye makeup. Works really great. Just use like a cotton round and then take your eye makeup off and then i love the orange blossom face wash and i do the same thing with this that i do with the body wash um, so i can make it last longer i get a little foam pump and just fill it up a third of the way with your soap and then the rest of the way with distilled water and if you want to add other oils to it you can but that way this lasts a lot longer I mean, i've had this bottle for months um i don't even know the last time i ordered a bottle Okay, then at night, I like the Art um, Refreshing Toner. They also have a great face wash and a moisturizer um, if you've got, um, you know, a different type of skin. But I just prefer, I, my skin has like oily spots in it, so that's why I like the Orange Blossom. If you have really dry skin, probably want to go with maybe the Art Cleanser because it's more gentle. But I do like the toner. Use that as well. Then this is my um, face serum, homemade face serum. It has the avocado oil with um, geranium, myrrh, frankincense, where's that at? Frankincense and lavender. And um, that recipe should be in the um, files as well. If you can't find it, let me know. And I just um, put a couple drops in here of each one of those. And then typically I just put that around um, my eyes and then like on my neck and my chest. It's really good to help keep your skin looking young. So, not that I'm old yet, but still need to look young. Okay, you think mommy's old? Yes. Say no, daddy's old, not mommy. Yes. 
Okay, then at yeah. bedtime, we take our Life 9 probiotic. They take theirs in the morning, but I take mine at bedtime. And I love this probiotic. I've always done the Life 5. This is their new one, Life 9. It just has more strains in it, so better protection, um, and it's a great probiotic. All right, and that is pretty much my daily oil routine. Um, like I said, a few things here and there that we kind of switch up, but for the majority, that kind of stays the same, what we have in here. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and if you need a recipe, like I said, it's in the file section under recipes. And if you can't find it, just uh, send me a message. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Say bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> bye, Carla. Mm -hmm.